Okay, so, I'm um, sorry, there's people right beside me, so I'm just going to put you a little bit lower. Um, I had my interview. I drove up four hours, had my interview, and now I'm on my way back. And I think it went really good, and I'll talk to you about it later, but yeah. Well, hi. <laughs> Um, this seems to just be the only time that actually works for me to talk. Oh, just stalled the car. <laughs> Forgot that it wasn't too neutral. Okay, so. What's been going on? Well, I think the last time I talked to you guys was, I was, um, where was I? Oh, I was on my way back from the interview. So I drove four hours up, had a two hour interview. Well, it was like a hour, 45 minute hour long actual interview. And then the rest of it was them talking about, um, or showing me around the school. Oh, it is very, I need to put my sunglasses on even though they're very bad sunglasses. I got them at a gas station because I needed something and I forgot my uh, sunglasses on my, uh, on my drive up to the interview. Anyway, so. Um, I'm all discombobulated. So anyway, I went there, had my interview. They turned me around the school. They seemed to like me, um, but they said that they were looking at other candidates. You know, they were taking into other applications. And, uh, but then they also were talking to me about all the benefits of working at their school and living up north and whatever because a lot of times people just think that oh it's so far away from everything there's just nothing there it's in the middle of nowhere why would you want to live so far away from the city um so they were giving me the benefits like pay uh, benefit plan health care um all that dental blah 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 and apparently there's a fifteen hundred dollar um moving allowance, which is pretty great. So, so anyway, on the drive back, we drove all the way back. By that point, I was exhausted, and I'm also house-sitting right now, so I had to then go back to the house I'm house-sitting at, check in on the dog and the cat, um, and my friend is house-sitting with me, which is kind of, and, about an hour after I got home, I got a phone call from them, um, from the vice principal there, and she said that they would like to offer me the job, and um, she said, I know that you said you needed at least a week to think about it, but let me know. So, today, I went to my, my university, talked with some of my professors, to get their opinion on it and they kind of just told me like you would be an idiot <laughs> to use strong language um, not to take the job it's a really great opportunity it's full-time um, it's probationary not temporary which you will not most likely not get your first year out of university um, in the big city and it's in, it's like a full-time art position pretty much, which is near on impossible to get starting out. So I was already leaning towards yes, but I really, that really helped solidify that this is the right decision. Um, it's a big decision because that means moving, but it's kind of exciting. And you guys get to come along with me for that because you have been here right at the beginning. So I phoned this morning the vice principal of the school and said, I know I said a week, but uh, I would like to accept the job. 
now if you still want me. <laughs> and so Monday is when she and the other principal there, as well as I think the superintendent or the director of the entire school division will be uh, making up a contract. I have a left turn signal, I should be paying attention. So it'll be, because today's Friday already, so sorry, this keeps moving around. Uh, <laughs> you get some funky angles. So yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, I, w I don't want to say that I have the job right now because I haven't signed any paperwork, so it could still fall through. And if it does, that's okay. I guess that just means that it wasn't the right job for me and God has something else in store. Um, but I feel really good about this job. There was another job out um, in BC and I just didn't feel good about it. There's a lot of reasons why I shouldn't take it. Even though a lot of people were like, oh, this BC is beautiful out there. Why wouldn't you want to take it, blah, blah, blah. But the pay was significantly lower. Um, and none of the hours would go towards my Alberta certification because apparently provinces like to be annoying. Um, so if I were to ever move back to Alberta, none of the teaching hours that I would have taught in BC would count toward my Alberta certification. So I would have to start from scratch in that way, which kind of sucks. So with this one, it's in Alberta. Still, it's just up north. And um, yeah, like it pays really well. It's an art teaching position and I am very, very excited, but also I know I have big shoes to fill. They really love their art program and want it to, um, want it to flourish. So, you know, a lot is riding on me as the art teacher for that. So yeah, anyway, that's kind of, I hope that made sense. My brain's kind of in a kerfuffle, kerfuffle. Yeah, we'll go with that. Guys, you just turn and, okay. People are driving like crazy right now. Anyway, so now I'm just going to uh, a party. Um, it's at a friend of mine's house. So that's kind of fun. Okay, so I think it's been a few days. Uh, <laughs> I, okay, where did I even leave off? I don't really know. I think I explained everything that happened. Um, I'm not sure if I said that I accepted the job, at least a verbal acceptance. I haven't signed anything yet. Uh, so that's quite exciting. A lot has happened in this past week. <laughs> And now it's Monday and I just, I well, I had a meeting for, um, I'm the director of children and family ministry at a church. So I had a meeting about that and about how we're going to do youth events and whatnot. And now I just, uh, I had to get like a child intervention screening thing. Don't fully know why I need to get that on top of a criminal record check with a vulnerable sector check. But I'm getting that as well. So I just uh, applied for that. It's supposed to come in the mail between five to 20 business days, but I have at least a piece of paper that says that I did it because for, for this school, apparently I need to have it before they can officially hire me or at least before I start. So that's all done. So yeah, now it is, oh, and I went into a gallery cause just along this street, there's a bunch of local galleries. And I went into a, uh, I think, what is it called? It is called Bear Claw Gallery. 
and it's like an indigenous um, like artist gallery and so I pay, I looked around at some of the stuff which was awesome to get some ideas for potential art projects since a lot of my students will be indigenous and I also picked up this newsletter Alberta Native News so it has a very awesome painting on the front yeah which is oh Jason Carter yeah he was shown at that gallery so yeah now I'm just going to go back to the house where I'm house sitting at make sure that the animals are okay and I don't know what I'm supposed to oh I have some like work I need to do for my um for my church job but other than that maybe I can take it easy for a little bit so yeah see ya